What happened? There you go, pick a feet up. Good job. Say what's up, brother. Stop. We're at the laundry mat. I'm in my room, I'm going to listen to classes. The element doesn't know how to behave. Look at her. Look at her. She can't behave. She still has the grape that I gave her 20 minutes ago. Look at that. <laughs> Ah. Look at your teeth right now. Ah. Ah. Look at your nose. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? Let me see. Let me see what you're playing with. What's up, Cheeks? Other one's over there playing with water balloons. And I'm here having to readjust. Look at how big my head is, dude. This is insanely big. It's, but this, is, this got loose somehow. It doesn't even fit me no more. But it's probably one of the best headbands you could have because it's a little thick. I mean, it's in width, it's a good width, but it's thin. It's like the, the very thin material, but it's so huge on me. It doesn't fit when I play. It obviously gets sweaty and it just, last time I fell and it covered my eyes. It was funny during the game, so. I bought this little Sony kit from, from the Dollar Tree. And they put the red. They put the red. Keep it over there. No, no. What over there, please? So, yeah. I'm gonna cut it and sew it. What's up, Bella? Watch your fingers, okay? Okay. No, you can't cut those. You're gonna ruin them. You're gonna ruin them? Well, yeah, because they're gonna fill them up. So, I had it. I cut like this much off. It's about like two inches. Uh, what is this considered? inch two inches I kind of cut it off so my stitch is not good at all but, um, okay. I think it should be okay I think that's how it's gonna look on the outside this ring? not this ring. Not this ring. <laughs> still feels like it's gonna get loose Feels weird. Yeah. Backwards. It's still dirty. Yeah. Went to the. Me and Alvin went to the laundromat right now. Let's go. I'll probably play basketball today. I'm not sure. Where did you get this from? From the lady? Yeah, the lady at the gas station. Gave her a free lollipop. Cause she, Alan was asking me for like a bunch of stuff and I kept saying no. So then she just gave her a free one. Which was nice of her. Thank you, lady.
Even when I'm down I'm down now Even when I'm down I'm down now Even when I'm down Oh Oh Where am I Do you ever feel like uncomfortable? Like just uncomfortable? And my mouth feels dirty, I just brushed it, but I drank out of a straw, like I just feel uncomfortable right now, you know? So Alwyn Alwyn, she went home right now. I mean if I wanted I could keep her probably every day, like. I'm not gonna talk bad about her mom, but I'm just saying like if, if I if I could it would be the other way around where her mom would have her on her, she would be a weekend mom, you know? Long story short, Element had to go home right now and uh had to, didn't have to, whatever. Element went home right now and I dropped her off at my, my sister's work so my sister could take her to her mom's. Which is a good distance away from where I stay. And from where I was trying to go, I had different options right now. I could go shooting at the, the elementary by myself, you know, um, get some shots up and practice. Or I could go to the gym and right now I'm a little faded and I kind of want to be alone. So I'm kind of like, I'm probably just gonna go for a hike right now, which is like kind of like close to where I am right now. So, you know, I kind of miss an exit right now being indecisive, but my point being is that it's pretty fucking hot out here. I thank God my truck's not overheating right now, but this heat is kind of unbearable to drive right now with my truck, you know? It's like barely gonna be three. It actually is already like four, but it's still pretty hot, you know? And, um, maybe I should just stick to my schedule, what I've been doing, you know? I don't know, I'm a little lost right now, but I don't know. Um, those beautiful horses. The horse. And um, it's a it's a bad hour right now. The streets I'm pretty sure are jam packed. I know the one I'm about to get on is gonna be pretty busy. But um, me hiking for about an hour and twenty minutes will give my uh, truck a rest, I suppose. Even though where I go hiking, there is really no shade, you know. I don't want to think too much about it because I'm already thinking negative right now, so. Anyway, y'all, uh, peace. I don't want to sound like a dickhead or anything, but I really don't want to do shit. I mean, I do. I'd rather go play 5v5, but just rather be alone right now. I feel kind of irritated, but I don't want to be, like, quick-tempered to anything, you know? So I really don't want to, like, go go anywhere where I feel like not being get aggressive or whatever but not even like that I'm just saying like I just rather I, I'm kind of in a bad mood right now you know I don't feel much comfortable I feel like being alone but I don't want to waste my day um, in, in like physically I want to get some sort of exercise in especially if like I have time to kill because I'm not with Halloween and I don't feel comfortable being at my mom's when I don't have Halloween well, because, you know, I don't really provide much there. And I'm not, not trying to be just some lazy ass, you know. Mm. It's considered work, I guess, you know. Selfish, I guess. I don't get paid for working on myself, but... I guess you could say that's what I'm trying to do, but... Yeah, but now I was like, damn, I'm feeling weird. Like, do I feel depressed? I'm faded, you know. I'm faded, it's hot. Irritated. And then, um... I feel, I don't know, I just, I know I feel better after this uh, run up the hill. And it'll still be kind of early too after, it'll still be like maybe six o'clock by the time I get down. The gym closes at 10, I think, from seven to 10, I could play basketball. I'll go maybe like do some punchy bag work or go for a swim. There's options right now. I just want to wake up, you know? I think this hike will be good for me to wake up, you know? And, um. I don't know, I was like, am I depressed right now? But I'm like, I don't know if I'm depressed. I just feel um, lonely, 
Am I just like a little irritated right now because it's hot? I'm in my car. No, Halloween, all these thoughts, and maybe I just feel lonely, you know. And then I, when I when I had that thought, like maybe I just am lonely because I don't want to be like oh, I'm depressed and just like because I hear it, I'm gonna feel depressed. When I, and then same same kind of reversal. When I thought about, you know, maybe I'm not depressed. Maybe I'm just lonely. I thought. But me saying that I'm lonely, like at the same time, maybe that might be true. It might be a, a whole boatload, of, a, a whole combination of things. But when I said I was lonely, I'm kind of thinking like, damn, but am I asking for something when I say I'm lonely? Especially on here, like, you know, you always, do you do that sometimes? Where you're like, am I really lonely? Am I just saying that now because I said it? Or am I, am, am, why even say I'm lonely? Am I asking for something? You know, I'm asking, you know, for something, saying that I'm lonely. Like, at the same time, I just want to admit, like, damn, I'm lonely or, damn, I'm not right right now, you know? Are you, is, there, is it okay to ask for something? You know what I'm saying? I have the attitude, like, I don't want to ask for shit, you know? Um, but you also can't take either, you know? So, I don't know. But it's not that bad. I feel okay right now talking to you kind of a little more pumped up right now i just hope i have my shoes i washed them today but i'm not sure if i left them in here oh, i think i left them in the backyard at my mom's house so i guess i gotta go over there go get them but um so i'll probably be pushed back either way i do want to dribble the basketball today whether it's at the gym at the gym i have to be more on it you know i have to be more on myself because I don't know, I just, and then more runs through my mind at the gym because there's other people around and you know, there's other personalities and attitudes and I gotta be around people and I gotta think about my self-conscious, you know? When like, when I shoot at the, just like shoot by myself, by my brother's house, my nephew's grandma, at the elementary school right there, I can shoot around by myself and even sometimes shout out to the homie, I think his name's Chris. The one that you see me play uh, one one versus one over there sometimes or shoot around with. Even when he's there sometimes, I'm like, I don't want to be a dick, but I kind of do just want to shoot by myself and practice over there in the corner, you know? Maybe if, I probably would just go shoot around by myself today. And I want to swim too, but I, mean, I still have to go be around people at the gym pool, you know? Just kind of want to be around nobody right now. I mean, that's it. Like, I would love to be around a fine female. Like, you know, I just want to kick it. Chill and grub and Netflix and chill. <laughs> but, um, I'm holding on, man. I'm not tripping, you know? I got my daughter, you know? I just, I know this shit's gonna pass, you know? This shit will pass. I'm gonna get my shoes. Peace. I'm really not ready to hike right now. We'll see how I do. I do my squats. Uh, but yeah, I'll let you guys know how I do. Not really feeling the hike right now. I gotta go back to get my shoes on my mom's house. I'm visualizing myself playing basketball right now, which is weird, right? People that watch my videos, especially my friends that know me. All right, I mean, this is the way I think when I watch them. Because I just recently posted a video that I was gonna go run routes one day. Cause I had a crazy thought in my head, like I wanted to, whatever I did in the morning before I played basketball, I was gonna go run football routes. I think I was gonna go hiking, football routes. Um, still swim, I think maybe hit the boxing and then in that particular order, cause I have to go to the gym to do both of those things and then finally play basketball. So right now I was like stuck visualizing myself playing basketball. I didn't even play basketball today. It's not like I played anyway. But uh, if I have to go for a hike, I guess that's just where the coin landed. And then I'm going run up the hill. All right, yo. See what happens. I mean, I'm gonna try my hardest, you know? If I die, fuck it. At least it was in the hands of the world. Biology, I guess. But I'm gonna try to go do the best I can run uphill. I always get motivated when I see people, somebody running ahead of me or 
and then somebody coming in my direction as I'm going towards theirs, I tend to want to just rip because I feel like they're watching me run. So I kind of go fast to get behind them. And that kind of forces me to run faster. So right now's the perfect time to go hiking because of the time. It's like five o'clock if you really want to push yourself. It's pretty hard when there's nobody here. Like when you come here, like, like at a time when everybody's at work or something, like you come like at 11. I usually come like at 10, 30, 11, and it's like very little people. So, it's got to find motivation, I guess. I was so like, it's funny because the last piece of um, music that I, I guess just put on my story, because I don't have a studio and I like, don't like to record in front of anybody. I feel like you can't get the full authenticity from me if I'm not just alone doing it. So, like, I have nowhere to record right now, like, because my laptop went down, so, you know. Otherwise, if my laptop didn't go down, I would just use the Wi-Fi where I'm staying, download everything, and then just go into my truck, find somewhere to record. Most of my songs are like that. I mean, some were recording in a, in a room, you know. But my urge to share my feelings, I've just... It's funny, I wrote down like two or three songs and it's something, it's, some of the beats make you kind of like tap into like an arrogant side, I guess. It's kind of like a party beat, you know? You wanna have like up lyrics, you know, to pump somebody up, make them feel good about themselves. But since I can only like kind of like record on my story, kind of share it that way. Um, otherwise I would have to have some music playing off a different device than me recording that way. That's how I did it in my in my, the room that I'm staying in. I just got on YouTube, it's a smart TV. And I just had the music playing on the TV and I just had the phone up. The last two stories that I put, it was just me like, oh, I, I, I purchased YouTube music. So that YouTube music allows you to continue to play the music even when you're not on that screen. And as I'm recording right now, the phone won't allow me to play YouTube music as I'm recording, like right here. Only only the story on Instagram allows me to do that. So then, it's a long ass story, right? But the story only lets me do, I think like a minute. So I, I, this whole, that, that whole scenario, plus me writing my feelings down and me putting out music and me thinking that shit sounds garbage and I suck on this or on that. I guess on Instagram on the story, I just gotta kind of freestyle it because that's the only only way. Because if I have something I wrote down and I'm trying to recite it, I don't know. I just feel like it's not gonna come out how I want it. Especially, you know, if I write something down, I want that to be more of a record, like pre-recorded, you know, something I could perform to later. But off my story, if I write something down and I'm going off the story, I don't know. I just it's gonna sound different, you know. I'd rather make it sound good on record. Just be able to perform it. Performing is just like a karaoke, you know? And just re reliving those feelings. So, so it's funny, like I, I put all that pressure on myself and wrote these songs and like, you know, did all this stuff. And the last two times I put music out, I was only able to do it off Instagram and it felt the way that platform was to do it was just to kind of just freestyle it, you know? or kind of like repeat something I got from what I wrote and kind of freestyle it that way, not read it bar by bar, you know? I felt better that way. I, just, I put something out, you know? I wasn't overthinking it. I felt like I was stressing over it. But, uh, I was second guessing myself. Hey, you sound stupid, you know? You sound dumb. Like, Cause I was, I was reciting what I wrote. And right now I kind of just said how I felt in the moment, you know? It's felt better, you know? It's probably not the best advice, but right now I had a McChicken. I don't know if you guys eat McDonald's or not. I had a, had a McChicken in a few days and I only had a couple bucks, so I decided to get a, I mean, I'm gonna go play basketball and my stomach was feeling empty. I didn't want to go to my mom's. I didn't want to jump the wall, you know? I don't have a key. Uh, I had a, something to open. I had a way to get in, but 
I, uh, I lost it, so. There's a sign that doesn't turn, but it's not blocking the street, so. It might be somewhere they probably have construction later or something. Tonight, maybe. But, um. So I, I just get apple slices. Instead of getting fries, I get apple slices. It kind of takes eliminates my urge for fries. And right now I ate an apple slice, so I bit a piece of the apple and I and I then I ate the McChicken. And together that sweetness with the chicken, it was it was freaking amazing, man. It was amazing. Try it. Bite the apple slice and then bite into the McChicken. I get my McChicken with no mayonnaise add ketchup. But everybody, you know, I don't like mayonnaise, so. Anyway, um, yeah, do your thing and uh, try the apple slice, bite into the McChicken. Peace. It doesn't look like it, they did. I think they asphalted the floor. But it looks like you can still see the cracks and the lines in it. Which is kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe just the way it is. Oh, damn. Definitely sense. Is it better? You can still see the lines in it. I don't know if you can see. See, can you see the lines right there? See the free throw lines? See that 90 degree angle? But it's asphalted, so. I must have just did one like fast, quick layer of it. It's cool, you can still see the lines, so. Came out here to shoot. I was in my truck for a minute. I was posting some music and um, I'm happy I'm out now. I'm happy I'm gonna shoot some hoops. Even even just walking over here, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm thinking about me being out of shape. And you know, I, I, today I didn't get to play. I didn't end up going to play 5v5 and I'm thinking about like, I just ate McDonald's and I don't know, just, you know, you're just thinking about yourself and your appearance or whatever. But, and then you just start thinking, oh, I'm gonna suck at basketball now because I didn't get to play. Or, you know, I don't know, stupid stuff. But I don't know. I'm just trying to stay out of people's way. Like I said, I'm just trying to figure this out. <laughs> anyway, y'all, peace. I'm gonna record my shoot around. Peace. Believe in love at first sight. That's how I feel every time I see you with my eyes. You still believe in love at first sight. That's how I feel every time I see you with my eyes. Don't nag or complain, baby. Shit, you know I pay for that. I hardly read shit, baby. That Sunday just say I'm in my prime, like red, baby. You're full rag. Need that palette, palette, whole palette just to feed my fans. For my rap, I that's a lot of cash Young brave heart baby Should just hold my hand If nothing else baby I'm just trying to be your man Forgive me, give me, give me, give me, give me all day Shit, all your pain and worry baby and just leave it there uh, uh, Know that type of love you born And you dwell upon Even when the sun's out Sometimes it's hard To realize if you just look up That the sun is shining Girl, you still believe in love uh, At first sight That's how I feel every time I see you in my body You still believe in love At first sight Girl, that's how I feel every time I see you with my eyes I'm from the sunny state I'm feeling lonely out here in California I know them guys try to take over But don't let them get to you Just do the dance Get that bullshit off your girl Boost it off, you. you'll be alright, you'll be alright Just pray to Jehovah You deserve a better life, you know you do uh. You deserve a better life, you know you do uh. Good, he used to believe in love First sight that's how I feel every time I see you in my eyes. Girl, you still believe in love first sight. Girl, that's how I feel every time I see you in my eyes. You deserve came swimming today. Super Phelps. Oh, my pimple. 
I had my uh, goggles on. That's the teacher instructor. She's in her office. It's like being at work on your phone. She's in the pool. I, I know her. I, I talked to her. Oh, it's so hard to decide which gator is. They, don't have, they haven't restocked, but. Yeah, I'm gonna get the purple one for sure. And the green one. Sorry, sky blue. got back to my car from going to the crazy chicken and uh, it was pretty good I didn't have to go to I didn't have to go to the laundry room today and wash my um, and wash any of my trunks like to go swimming um, reason being is because I was able just to wake up and go to the gym and I guess Wednesdays and Fridays Shout out to the homegirl. She's she on her Instagram. She goes to the beach and does some yoga on the beach. You know what I'm talking about. If you watch my, if if you're my friend and you're watching this, I'm sure you know. I'm talking about you. And it starts with the B. But um, yeah, you gotta get it in. You know, yoga's pretty cool. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. I can imagine at the beach, it's hella hot. You know what I mean? I do it inside the gym, so not really hot you're not out in the sun i think out in the sun is probably feels a lot better but what i'm saying is um so now i know the schedule of yoga so yoga is at 9 45 in the morning monday wednesdays and fridays or whatever the case might have you and um so i got there and there was you know today's wednesday and there was yoga class going on but i was already like 30 minutes late so i was like you know what i don't want to disturb their you know, they're in their stretch, you know, it's like walking in into church or walking into like somebody in some sort of meditation and you're just disturbing their peace. If I was like 15 minutes late, I probably would have went in, but um, I didn't get there on time. So I just did like the bike today just to get my body warmed up until I was able to go into that room and, you know, use the punching bag and do my stretching. It's very cool to stretch in there. And, um, Whatever, so I got Paul Loco again. And, um, I don't know what I wanted to say, but just uh, be positive, be grateful. You know, you're not in prison or you're not dead or, you know, you're not in a situation where you're enslaved, you know? As crazy as that sounds, you know, people do that to each other. But um, so just uh, in times of anxiety and times of anger, Know that those feelings will pass, you know. When you're hopeless, those feelings will pass, you know. There'll be a moment, you know, when you're feeling alone, but you go walk into a store with somebody and you go compliment somebody, go make somebody feel better with words and you know, you'll feel better. You're never alone even when you feel alone. I just want some money for my mom. I just want some money for my dad. I just want some money for my sisters. I just want some money for my brothers. I just want some money for my loved ones. And even my loved ones, loved ones. And if we got a little extra shit, we'll see. Starting some business and flipping the currency. I'm a gift from my hieroglyph. Making my moves, trying to see, set see. Shit out to my people's with dreams. Stay in my lane, I don't want to infect it. If I had any advice on life, it would be for you to live it so peacefully. See, this is your life. Don't take it for granted, don't take it for granted. I know you've been tired, so hard to be standing, but baby, don't panic. Oh, who's in your mind trying to be outstanding? So much pressure, but where does it come from? Proud of yourself. One second you build yourself up, the second you bring it in. Uh, I just want some money for my mom. I just want some money for my dad. I just want some money. Yeah, I wrote in a notebook, haven't wrote, written in a while, but um. I was like, I forget about doing the YouTube stuff, but I'm about to go for a hike right now, and I'm about to dump this. I'm gonna do half of it, because when I run, I'm not gonna be as thirsty. 
So if I dump half of the Gatorade and fill the other half up with water, maybe I won't be as dehydrated. Cause I know the sugar's gonna make me be thirsty and when I walk down, I'm kinda gonna wanna have to have had water, you know? But if I mix half and half, maybe I won't be as thirsty. It won't taste too sugary, so. Dumping half of it. Shout out to my homies like Caesar and Frog and Pee Wee and, and Solrak and other friends that want to hang out with me, you know. Shout out to my homie Bogey, he called me the other day. Um, you know, at the moment, certain moments, I just ain't ready to talk, you know what I'm saying? So, my apologies, you know, any of my family I haven't talked to, you know what I'm saying? Just hope the best and, uh, yeah. I uh, seen somebody that I know right here about to go hiking. It's uh, one of my sister's friends. It's a dude. Uh, I say what's up to him. Put him. So yeah, I'm gonna fill half of this up with water, so I won't be that hydrated, dehydrated coming down. Cause uh, I didn't want to like, I wanted some Gatorade to give me some sugar, you know. Like going up is gonna give me that sugar I need, but coming down I'm gonna be. Maybe I shouldn't have done that much, you know. But, um, I'm a lonely guy, I ain't gonna lie I'm alone a lot, you know I deal with some crazy mind battles Nothing like Crazy, crazy But um, leave it up to God, you know Sometimes you're getting too faded though I ain't gonna lie I'm getting too high Like thinking like, oh my god, I'm holding my This strength in this arm is holding this cup Or uh, Get it well, you know But um, anyway I'm good, I'm good Doing all right, you know, I get through it. It's just fear, you know, people have fear. You know, you feel vulnerable sometimes, so you're just like nervous. You know, as just a human, I guess, as an animal, just afraid of your surroundings. And sometimes you think so low of yourself, like you deserve bad, so you're always like paranoid or whatever. But those are just lies, man. Not out there doing anybody dirty or you know what I'm saying? So most of the time, you know, people have their own problems to worry about. The ones just there worrying about you. You know. The only just there at home, like plotting an attack. You know what I'm saying? Like be paranoid like that. At least I do. I get pretty paranoid. I just want to give them all, do the best that I can, you know? I like to be in shape. I like to do the best that I can. I shouldn't be afraid about that. Neither should you. I really look at the nail. I always flick it. It's like lifted. And we all peace. This hike was pretty difficult. I got my vein out, see? This fucking day was pretty difficult. I'm here and I'm grateful. I made it here. I feel better. So I gotta hold on. Love y'all. So I just got an acai bowl. And um, I'm gonna restart this because. Alright, what's up, y'all? So, again, my beard is not a full grown beard. But I'm not gonna judge myself on that. My people's look mad small. I can see like my hand in it. Like center my people, but um, yeah, I'm stoned and I'm holding it together, doing my best, and here I am judging myself. I'm alone pretty much most of the time, till I'm with Aloe. But um, I'm gonna come shoot some baskets right here. But I parked in some. Um, I wonder we'll get an acai bowl. Like I said, I'm not gonna tell you where. It was in a shopping center, and um. There was a lot going on in that shopping center, man, to be honest with you. Um, there was like, it's right next to a subway, but it's next to a bus stop. And there was like this very attractive Asian girl and like very, like, very, she was, she was small, but she was a woman, but she was in um, like a, a sequence dress that was kind of short. She was a very attractive Asian girl, lady, lady. And it just looked like, she looked like the P word, prostitute. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. She looked like a prostitute. So I started kind of uh, 
getting a little um started questioning the area i was in like like what like, like something sketchy is going on and um sure enough i get to my truck but the uh oh shit. i get to my truck i gotta get my basketball but i get to my truck and uh those people that pass by and like, like i hate that people are like cautious about me because they see me with tattoos or they see, i don't know and then my expression the way i look and then they see like an old ass truck <laughs> with a big ass fucking spider web crack in the middle but anyway so all of a sudden i look this way and you know I, i'm a mexican-american you know my family's from mexico you know Mexican American. I don't know further than like my where my grandma's grandparent grandma's parents came from. Like I don't know no further than that. You know what I mean? I only really know a little bit. I just know where like my grandparents came from, and even then I don't really know where like my dad's parents came from. Not really too sure, but the reason I'm saying this, I don't want to sound like a racist person when I like describe somebody how they look. Like if I'm describing a story about a black person, or I'm describing a story about a, you know, a. a what we call people call it a paisano a paisa a countryman of mexico you know <clears throat> so this guy he had to be like mid 40s he was short it was kind of dark like you know where the sun you know he just looked kind of like reddish like he had skin like he was dark skin but he was a he was a i don't know if he was mexican i don't know if he was you know from El salvador but i know he was a latin, a latin man but he, he was i don't know what they want to say hispanic i don't know but but he was kind of sketchy, like, he kept kind of looking a little bit. And I kind of noticed him. I was like, what? He can't, like, look back at me. He just seemed kind of like, I don't know if he was going to think about robbing me or what. So as soon as I seen him, I said, I'm gone. But he was a little sketch. I ain't going to lie. The whole little shopping center was kind of sketchy. When I go back and get an acai bowl, I got to, you know, I got to be careful, but. Yeah, I'm not tripping either. It was like a little, like a weird, like, I look. I don't know if they, they think it's easy to come up on a truck like mine. You know, my truck's like a 1995 Toyota T100. They're kind of not collectibles, but if you fix them up and sell it, you can get some good money off of it. I mean, I had a guy like a month ago in, um, like on the East, in East Los Angeles. He, he was driving by in a nice truck. He was like, you know, let me know if you ever want to sell it. We buy stuff like that, but people would be taking shit out here, man. So. That was just a little weird, so I ended up coming right now. The only place I have to park right now is right here in front where I shoot my baskets. You know, and um, because I don't want to go home to my mom's too soon. I just don't really feel like it. What am I gonna do, watch TV? You know, I just don't know if I'm gonna be, I don't know, I don't want to be stuck there, you know? I don't know if I'm, uh, I could, I could go lay up, but I feel like I'll be, part of me just will feel lazy, you know what I mean? I'll feel lazy if I just go home and, um, I gotta be careful, man. But, um, I got a pimp on the side of my neck. I just felt it right over here. See it? In between the rays of the, the heart. I actually have two of these hearts. The one right here. It's kind of weird because I think, I think here I wanted an actual heart. Which I, I think I had this one after I had the one on my arm. And shout out to my homie Bogus, my friend Andrew. Thank you for not, like, I'm not sure if I ever told him I wanted the heart. Like an actual, just a heart. You know, the one you draw. And he ended up putting the actual heart, like the tattoo that I kind of already had. I'm kind of grateful now that I think about it. Because it's just like an actual heart would have been the kind of, kind of girly. I'm just saying, like... <laughs> Like, oh, that's the guy with the heart on his neck. Just like the... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. Some people would like the heart thing. I don't know. Who knows? It played out this way. But I, I do have the same one on my arm. Which, this one's a lot cleaner. My friend had improved a lot right here. Shout out to him. So, yeah. Let's so go we'll shoot baskets for like 30 minutes, you know, until it gets really dark, you know. It's not too dark right now. So that was freaking sketchy, man. I'm like, and I look around, I'm looking at the setting, I'm looking like, there's a girls, like, just like at the, the acai spot, there's a lot of people, like, going, they go in groups, you know, friends, they go get some acai, like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it was like, I look around like, why, why would that guy want to try to rob me? Like, and what is he trying to get out of me? Like, it's, it's the way I look, or you just think I'm easy come up? Like, I was because I'm by myself. I don't know, man. Oh, and then what had happened was, before I even seen him, I realized I locked my keys in the car, so I went through the window and opened my front my front door. So I wasn't sure if if that guy's, you know, those people are watching before. People are watching you. It just looked like that guy had been watching me. It was weird, man. But uh, hey, I don't know. He looked like I don't know. He just looked. I don't know. He looked like he was a. Uh, Los Angeles, man, it's getting a little, it's getting a little crazy now, man. You can't really be alone. You, know, you gotta be with your family, and even then, you gotta watch your kids, though. You gotta fucking watch your kids. It's fucking insane. It's fucking insane, man. <clears throat> but um, people are desperate for money, and people live in certain areas where they get involved in shit, you know. But um, yeah, man, Just be safe out here. Peace. I'll buy this for my nephew. He's probably gonna see this, but it's only 12 bucks. All right, fine. That's how old he's gonna be. Five bucks. Let's see if he likes it. Man, he's got a little jersey. Look at that. It's tight. It's just tight. So they only got a small on this. Small, purple rain. It's just tight. It's only five bucks. Shout out to my homie Spens. Um, he got me out here down a ball right now. Um, yeah. Hey, love your mama, man. I'm not saying just because my homie Spence. It's just kind of a coincidence, actually. But um, you guys don't really know my homie Spence. But the reason why I bring it up is because earlier right now, you know, me and my mom never really had the best relationship. And, uh, you know, it's still kind of hard to communicate when we're, we're around each other. I don't know. I get a little irritated by her. Uh, even her, like, keep. I feel like she keeps bugging me in a sense where she wants to see me, like, kind of like. But that's not the case. I think she just try, wants to communicate with me and she's just trying to talk to me. But in my head, I'm thinking she just wants to annoy me to the point she wants to. She wants to see me kind of like respond to her in, in, in an annoyed manner, like, in a way that's kind of like, you know, with attitude and like, just leave me alone, you know what I mean? But, um, so that's what I'm saying. Love your mama, you know what I mean? Try your best, you know? Just keep, hold your tongue, you know? Even if they know you and stuff, you know? But shout out to homie Spence, he hit me up. He's like, man, I was, I guess he went in the morning today in the gym where he goes. I believe it's in LA Fitness as well. He said he got about three games, three to four games in. And I'm glad he texted me because it's kind of going to get me to go, you know? You know? Just because I, I kind of like, you know, my stepdad got home at Jesse. He got home from work. I didn't want to just, I brought groceries home, but I didn't want to be around. Like, you know, he's dealing with what he got to deal with, you know? And I, I, last thing I want him to like, be frustrated already with whatever he came home with and just kind of like focus it on, you know, on me, I guess. So I just said, fuck it. In a sense where I just don't want him to judge me. And like, I don't know, I just, so I just said, fuck it, you know, because I ain't working and shit. I'm on unemployment, but it ain't really, some people don't really respect that, you know? But, um, 
Oh, long story short, I bought I bought for, I bought these N1 shorts. It's freaking sick, dude. Only ten bucks at Walmart. We wanted to get some b-ball shorts. Um, even got this shirt for five bucks. Something to, you know to play basketball in and get sweaty. So, change the shorts. These shorts are pretty cool, man. I'm not sure what famous basketball player ever wore N1s, but N1s was a dope brand. Still is. These are like collectible shorts, man. N N1 is a sick brand. Um. So yeah, all right, y'all. Peace. So I spoke too soon, said we were gonna win and we lost 15 to five. Yo, probably can't see me too good, but um, damn, it's nine o'clock. I came to this gym around two, but I only played about, I mean, I got here around 2.30, maybe two, can't remember. Now my my uh, cousin he's uh, going through something and he just DM me right now. But um, so <laughs> when I got here, my mother and I, like I said, we it's kind of like a like it's like pulling teeth when wherever we're around each other, like just to be able to conversate. And um, so, but we, we worked through it. We just kind of separate ourselves so so not, like we don't ever get into an argument. And then it just it always seems to occur. But we're learning, you know. It just seems like she bugs me. Like she just keeps asking me the same simple questions. Like just, she could just leave me alone, you know? Like, sometimes I'm not in the best mood, you feel me? So, like, it's not that I wasn't in it. I was in a bad mood right there. It just felt like she was just like continuing to try to like ask me question after question when I really didn't want to talk to her low key. Not, not disrespectfully. I just didn't want to have a conversation. I kind of like, I just don't like when people are around me, honestly. I don't, I don't really like to be around people that much. But um, long story short, so I just kind of left once once I put all the groceries where they need to go, you know, in the fridge and whatever cabinet they go. And I just came to play basketball. I knew I was kind of hungry, but I ended up at the gym. Like I was pretty faded. I got to the gym like, oh shit, I should have stopped to get a snack or something. But there really wasn't anybody here. So I think we played one game of three, three versus three. And this is at like 2.30. And then I left around like 3.15. I said, you know what, I'm gonna get something to eat. I could either play here, or I could just go shoot by myself at the elementary school, or I could just go to the other gym. But I said, I need to eat. So I sat in my truck to around like 4.45, for like a whole hour and a half, I sat in my truck. I had some Waba Grill. I said, no, I'm gonna go inside the gym, I'm gonna go play. And sure enough, it was packed. I had to wait about four games. We lost the first game, I had to wait another game, and I finally got on and, um, I want to say we lost that one too. Um, and there was a girl that was playing with us. She's a woman. She was probably like early twenties, but she was very beautiful. And she was playing with us. She was good. You know, she, 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 one time we played against her. I think that's when we won. And then we played with her. So I had to play, wait, play, wait. And then finally right now towards the end, um, some really good ballers showed up. One of the youngsters there was like, oh, see the guy that just got here? He's one of the best. And Logan, he was, he's very quick. And even defensively, he was able to recover a lot. Like, at one time he made me, um, 
I went up for a shot and then he, he was a little higher than me and I kind of hesitated a little bit to shoot it. And he kind of stopped me a little bit. But um, yeah, but, but that guy, he called a foul. He shot the ball and I blocked him. I got a piece of the ball and then he called N1 because like I hit a little bit of his like, I barely, I barely like skinned his hand at all. I barely skinned his hand, but it didn't affect the shot. Me touching the bottom of the ball first and then hitting his arm, you know, like, like I hit, I touched the ball, but he called N1. As soon as he felt me touch the ball, he called N1. And I said, I ain't giving that to him. That was a, I, I didn't even say weak, I don't think. I don't even think I called a weak call. I just said, I just said, no, I was like, nope, I ain't giving that to him. And then he said something, he, he's the one that brought up weak. He said weak, and I was like, man, then I, I used the word weak. I was like, that was weak. And I said, no, you know what? I don't call people weak, but um, I just don't agree with the call. And then he kept kind of talking smack. This is the first game we played against them just right now. And um, sure enough, I started hitting my shots. I hit the game shot on them, and they didn't know it was game, but it was game. We had 13. I think they had 14 or 13, or maybe they had 12. But we had 13, and I hit a two-pointer, and I called the game. I was like, that's game. And now, nah, like, you know, we had 13. So, and there was another tall, a tall youngster on their team, probably like, I don't know, early 20s, but he was very strong once he got the ball from the top of the key and he went i wasn't guarding him but i would have to come and transition and switch over and help but he was very good and he was very good on defense um what do they call it contesting shots he contested my shot i think he blocked me like once or twice it was a very competitive game and um the second game too um we were down and i hit a clutch three to tie it up 14 14 i hit a clutch three wow but um, like they said, they gave it to the other big guy. I couldn't guard both of them, but he gave it to the other big, the big youngster, and uh, he just went straight to the hole. And uh, the other youngster guarding him was just too small for him. But it was a great, it was pretty good. It was I was like surprised about my shot. I was making a lot of my shots. Um, but um, yeah, it was, it was very. It got good at the end right now. I was like, oh, am I gonna get to play any good games? But I got very good at the end right now, especially me matching up with that youngster, you know. <laughs> His shot wasn't the best, but I was kind of letting him shoot. I didn't I didn't want him to uh, drive it on me because he was very quick off the dribble. But yeah, man, I'm glad I got that basketball in. It was fun. It was a different gym, the second time coming to this gym. I kind of like it here, to be honest with you. Kind of feel more comfortable being here. It's a little closer to my house. But uh, I'm getting ready, man. I'm getting, I was tired. The Actually, I was nervous the very first game because I go in there on my headband. I put my, you know, I go in there with confidence, you know, like I'm ready to ball and I started shooting practice. I'm making my shots, you know, people are watching, like people check out your game, you know? And then once I started playing the first game, I was like out of it. Like I was trying to do too much on defense and offense and we didn't really have uh, that many um, su a good supporting cast, but it was like, it was a tough game. Um, but that, that the last two games I had fun matching up with that guy, the youngster, cause even he would even try to strip me and I would like have to cross over quick. And I even used my forearm one time and he fell, but he didn't call the foul. Yeah. He was talking a lot of shit, but I was like, kind of like just keeping my composure. Okay. One time he was like, oh, weak. Even after, then I ended up busting it on them. I busted a shot and then I busted the game on them. The game before they just beat us right now. But that was also a tough game. I know I left the gym and he's like, okay, this guy, this guy's a, he's a gamer. There's one thing being a, a player but it's also about being a gamer like when the game gets tough you know because the game got tough and i was tired and like any little space he gave me i was gonna shoot the ball you know that's what kind of where i'm at in my game right now i put in a lot of work and effort you know i put these videos up i shoot about for sure about an hour a day if not 30 minutes for sure it's 45 minutes a day i try at least but um it was hella fun man i'm gonna smoke a little bowl and i feel like kind of like singing whatever comes to my mind so i'm gonna chill a little bit anyway y'all peace